raised the alarm when his study was finished. Even before the demon attack, he had found some damage or flaw in the stone. Oh, last one. Prelate Hulrune dismissed his words as nonsense, borderline blasphemy. But between you and me, the prelate's opinion isn't worth much. I think the storyteller knew what he was talking about. We could use his advice right now. If only we knew where he was. <laughs> I remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to Staunton, a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. Trouble is, I have no idea where to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabris, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. <clears throat> One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori. A new recruit in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you, and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, Please report back. All right, that's it. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Kenabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house, mine and Anevia's. Uh oh. Well, it was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more need of it. Mm hmm Oh, is this our... No, that's just a a chest where we cannot store ish. Okay. Ooh, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have two points. There's a lot of plot going in. I know. I know. Jesus. How much does this give us? One persuasion. What do we want here? Amelia is really taking care of the trickery for us. Not so good at stealth. We're the best at persuasion and perception. Maybe we should go for these. Oh, feed time? Heck yeah! Um... I feel like we need greater spell focus on evocation. Okay, we have ear piercing scream as an option. What is this? Because of the days and damage. Sonic damage, but our thing makes that fire. Her two caster levels, okay. That's a fortitude save. I think this is also... Oh, that's a reflex half save. So I would like to have some spells with different saving throws so we can kind of adjust to to the enemy grease is real good though grease is op as as all heck 
Magic Missile also real good. But yeah, this is a days plus damage, which is pretty good. Oh, wait, hold on. Was a cantrip? Is there no level? Oh, these are. Can I see the level? Are all of these level 1? So this is 2 to 5 per 2 caster levels. And this is... One to six per two cast levels. Magic Missile brings less variance in damage, but also reduces the max. This is a spell resistance check. This is also spell resistance. This is spell resistance and fortitude save. There is no no save on the magic missile. So let's go magic missile. I, I cannot have a caster without magic missile. Oh, we get mage armor finally. Amazing. Okay. Uh, character Amelie has prepared a spell Treat Affliction. It requires the material component first aid kits, which you don't possess. Material components are items necessary for casting a spell. Okay. Hey, wait, mind if I bend your ear about something? So here's the first and most important thing. Beth gave you a crucial mis mission. I get that. And I know you'll get the job done. I saw you in action. But here's the rub. By sending you out on an errand, we're weakening our defenses here. If they come at us while you're gone, I do know if we'll be able to fight them off. Uh, do you want me to stay here and guard the tavern? Question mark? You what? You what? No, your task is far too important. You can just hold up here all coast like waiting for the demons to knock on the door. We need to go take the fight to them. But if those freaks try to make a move on this place, Beth will send a runner to get you. If that happens, you'll leg it back here, right? Because if you don't, you'll be coming back to a nice pile. Got it. All right, clear. Uh huh. I don't think demons will attack. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Smell you later. Oh, it's you. Good work back there in the garrison. Name's Staunton Wayne. If you've heard the rumors... No, no, no. I can't... How do I do a Scottish accent? Help me, chat. Am I, am I typecasting old dwarfs as Scots? Maybe I shouldn't. Just so you know, everything people say about me, it's true. Okay. Do you know about somebody called a storyteller? A storyteller? Hmm. A strange old fellow, that one. He used to sit with me for hours asking about all sorts of things. He never offered judgment or comfort. He just listened. At first I wanted him to just ask questions as far as away from me as possible. But later I realized that talking to him did ease my burden a bit. I hope he's alive and well. He's completely blind and feeble too. So, if he's alone in the city, well, you probably know what that means. Oof. I know one place where it might be. Look for him in the Black Wing. It's a library here. I'll show you where it is on the map. Okay. What do people say about you? They say I'm a traitor, as bad as Ariel of Orlesh, that I'm a disgrace, even among the ranks of the condemned, the Queen Gulfish should never have spared me, that I belong in the gallows. You really don't have any friends? 
What is a condemned? Military unit made of petty criminals conscripted as disposable soldiers and frontline fodder in the Mandavian Crusades. Okay. Yeah, so this lady, uh, this this dude, this lady, Jesus, this dude basically just betrayed everybody and went with with vamp lady there and went all smoochy smoochy on her and got played the fool. Oh, cat! 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 Can I not pet? No, oh, I am so upset right now. Greetings, she says. Your amulet is quite unusual. Where did you get it? I'm a little trinkless. Nice of you to notice, but I assure you this amulet is nothing but a bauble. Can a lady not be drawn to beautiful, useless things? Oh, you are so full of it, Camellia. You are so full of it. Your speech tells me you are of noble birth. Camille laughs her prat practiced musical laughs as she watches you from under lowered lashes. You're most insightful, a fine quality to have. Camilla laughs, laughter ends, and unspoken words hang in the silence. Uh, suppose we all have our good and bad qualities. Oh, no, 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 we're not kicking her out. We're not kicking her out. I, I kind of like her, the cut of her jib. She's not, she's coy, okay. Let's go. Can we have, can we sell our, our ish? Oh, thank good lord. Really? Okay, 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 first of all. Um, yeah, no, no. If it's not special, I don't want it. Yeah, we can keep the coal ladder and stuff. Masterwork is, is not good enough, I think. We will keep the longbow. That might be worthwhile for when dog. Don't think we need schema charts. We might have a long sword for a tank lady. That's a short sword though. Is that a bone club? Great club. Master work heavy flame. Thing for us. That's a two-hander. We could give that to her as a backup. Keep the cold iron stuff. Half plate. What are you wearing? That's probably an upgrade for, for tank lady here, so let's let's keep it. Keep all the accessories. The brewing ingredients, usable stuff we keep. Yeah. So let's sell that. Oh, we're rich! We can retire to the mountains and watch the city explode. <laughs> and, you, know, you have a good point. You do have a good point. What is weighing so much? Ah, the plate. Yeah, that's like half of what we're able to carry on our character. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, let's quickly just check our gear on these ladies. Do we have a full female party? That's cool. I like that. Okay, so arcane spell Failure chance. Well, you don't really use arcane stuff. So this doesn't matter. What's your dex bonus? You would lose your dex bonus for one base armor.
Yeah, so that doesn't actually... It does improve your flat-footed AC, but at the cost of your touch. I don't actually think that's better. Hmm. So we're selling that. So you're using light armor with four max dex. This would mean you lose one dexterity bonus to your armor. And that's a difference. You do gain one armor class by just having more AC on the part. What about Gendog here? Wendog? Wendog? Gendog? Whatever. Lady dog. Ah, uh, okay. You have five decks. And this scale mail is gimping you real bad, so it's defo better for you to have this. Yeah. Mail armor we can sell then. This is no better than your current shield, okay. Let's have you with the great sword as an option. I guess ever burning torch is a thing you could use. How about this bow? Is this better than yours? This is masterwork. What does that mean? I'm sure it's better than a non-masterwork. So, plus seven. Where's your bonus rolls? Is, I think this is like plus one to hit, right? Encyclopedia. Common terms. Oh my goodness gracious me. Equipment. Weapon. Efficiency, damage type. Oh Jesus. I guess we're never gonna know. I have a vague memory from the first game that it's plus one hit. This is a cold iron sword. Do you have a cold iron here as well? You have a masterwork dagger. Let's give you the cold iron dagger instead or in addition and let's not dual wield that so that means we can use this if we just need the extra hit can I not see my my hit bonus? Oh no, there we go. Plus one for masterwork. Okay. And there's the damage. Okay, so that is the attack roll. So what was the difference here? Hunter minus one for deadly aim. Okay. It's like that doesn't help you. Whatever. It's not worse. Okay. So we can sell the rest now. And let's do the level ups here. Hmm. 
rapid shot is what the automated level up binator wants to do. Okay, so we take a two minus two aim penalty to shoot once more. And that's not bad. I don't want to manually do all of these, so let's just use the auto leveling on our companions for now. Okay. Maximum dexterity bonus. No crypto armor, crypto is armor on Wendig. It limits the dexterity bonus to three. Without armor, this bonus would be five. Maximum dexterity bonus is the limitation of the bonus to armor class a character receives from dexterity score. The limitation value depends on type of armor. Towers is also encoded as bonus limitation. Does not affect other ex uh, abilities that depend on dexterity. Okay. Right. So we did the math on that one and it's okay. Whenever the paladin uses lay on hands to heal damage to one target, the target is no longer sickened. Okay. Uh, armor bonus from heavy armor. Immune to all diseases, including supernatural and magic diseases, including mummy rot. Okay. A third level pun is immune to fear. Each ally within 10 feet of her game plus 4 morale bonus on saving throws. Okay. Okay, okay. So these are like passive abilities. Okay, let's sell again. So, we did not want to keep any of these. Well, that. Marching Terror. It's kind of heavy. Let's see if we can find somebody to um, identify our gear. There's a lot of potion here, potions here. Let's get some. Oh Jesus! Let's get some of um, these first aid kits for the preps. Old map of Aviston. Oh, these are. Useful. Dark Omen. Oh, that is a lot of money. Gloves of the Neophyte. Whenever the wearer of these gloves casts a cantrip or a first level spell, that spell is one additional damage point per die roll. What? So you're telling me we just get plus one damage on all our spells right now? Sold! Sold! Spicy pastry? Oh, that's a recipe! Uh, heck yeah! Let's go! So, uh-huh, uh-huh. Luck. Where's the gloves of the neophyte? Yeah, dude, I'm gonna do one additional. They're gloves! They don't even interfere with the brazers. So this just straight up increases AC, right? Yes. And the saving throw. So this is technically better than brazers of armor. Amulet of... Oh! Have these been automatically identified since we came to the city? That's cool. Plus one natural armor bonus. Will this... This is a luck bonus. It doesn't stack with the natural armor bonus. Okay. Plus one bonus of saving throw against spells with cold descriptor. On... Okay, and plus one DC on all saving throws against spells with cold. I mean, we're not cold, we're pastors, but... 
And what else are we gonna wear? Right. Let's go full swagger. And these would not do anything for any of these guys. Okay. Do I just copy recipe? Ah, okay. Almost new diary. The little diary contains one entry on the very first page. Life is ish. While my brethren, although what kind of brothers are they really, are having great time up on the surface, I'm stuck here with Hosilla the nightmare and the mongrel scum. To top it all off, a pipe sprung a leak and an elemental is smashing up kitchen and Hosilla is, is sending it to slaughter everyone. Okay. Silas orders. Let me check those. Okay. Guess that's as much as we can can reasonably carry with it. Peanut survivor. Wherever my legs carry me. Jerna, who this? A young man in a well-worn traveling clothes and a simple wooden symbol of Erastil on his chest is efficiently cutting a linen robe into stripes to use as bandages. Despite his visible exhaustion, he works with zeal, singing some tune about red braids and ripe sheaves of wheat under his breath. He raises his warm chestnut-colored eyes to us. Are you one of the crusaders? Thank you for defending those of us whose talents lie off the battlefield. I'm Jerna, servant of Estrel. Pleased to meet you. I could use the help of a cleric. Is this guy too good? Is he good at two shoes? Is he gonna be upset in a party? What you doing? I only took my holy order recently, so my god has only bestowed a little of his power upon me as yet. Okay, are you from around here? He's passing through. Okay. Come from Chili Creek. Where's that? Small fishing village, not even marked on some maps. People live there. Uh huh. Aren't you afraid to go to the well wounds, uh, young and inexperienced as you are? I won't lie, I'm afraid, but what can I do? Those villages are simply are simple people. Every day of their short lives is spent doing hard work, honest work. But that's exactly the kind of life I want. Something simple but meaningful. If I had centuries ahead of me, like elves do, I might have spared some 50 years or so to travel around the world. We could use a cleric. <laughs> Erastil knows I'd be glad to help you, but I'm no use. My spells are depleted and I have no training in potions or scrolls. See this robe I'm cutting up for bandages? It's the second to last one. Okay, maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's for the best. Noink. So, what's in the basement? Loot is what's in the basement. That's... Just so really not even worse while looting, honestly. Scale mail. Sure. Who this? Surrender thy soul, Delvin. Ha ha ha! Gotcha again! How many times is that today? Take your jokes and shove them, Tiefling. Easy to achieve. Don't don't hurt me now. 